Round three of the group stage of the League's Cup has just three games on Saturday. Let's do a video on just those three games. Let's create one parlay from those on Saturday before getting into the rest of the games in a later video. So be sure to give this one a like and subscribe to the channel to get more League's Cup predictions. One of the biggest games so far will be Tigres and Inter Miami. It's the first ever meeting between these two giants in their respective leagues, the Shield leaders. Miami stayed hot in League's Cup in their game. First game of the tournament, they won 2-0 over Puebla on match day one. They had goals from Matias Rojas in the eighth and Luis Suarez in the 72nd minutes. They have just two losses in 18 games. They scored multiple goals in eight of nine as well. Saturday shutout was a rare one, though, for Miami, as usually their games have much more goals. The both teams to score in over 2.5 had gone 10-0 before that first game against Puebla. Miami did add center back David Martinez in the transfer window to improve a shaky defense, and he got his first start last game as well, though. Tigres kicked off their tournament as well against Puebla. That was on Wednesday. They also got three points, but it was not uh, quite as straightforward. Tigres scored just two minutes into the game. Puebla drew level in the 12th minute a few minutes later. Stayed that way all the way until Puebla taking a red card in the 71st and Tigres getting a late winner in that game in the 85th minute. Tigres is off to a strong start. 3-1-0 undefeated in third in the Apertura in Mexico. This after a 1-0 win. 1-1 draw, 1-0 win, and 3-0 win. In all competitions, they have just four losses in 16 games and those have come against Generally, some top opponents, Club America, Monterrey, Columbus, and Pachuca. It's hard to ever see Miami not scoring, especially when they're playing at home. Their defense, though, has conceded to teams much, much worse than Tigres on a usual basis. Let's go both teams to score in this game in first leg of the parlay. Next up, two Mexican teams. The other two, uh, uh, two Mexican teams meeting up here. We have Monterrey and Pumas. It's been a strong start in the Apertura for Pumas. They're 3-1-0, sitting second, tied overall, and first with Cruz Azul and Tigres. All those teams on 10 points. They've scored nine, conceded just three in those four games. The hot streak ended, though, against Austin on match day one, where they lost 3-2, to two, despite Austin taking a red card just 34 minutes into the game and having plenty of time to play a man up. Austin still scored twice down a man. They held on, despite having just 26% of possession. Pumas had a glorious chance to tie the game in stoppage time, but they were stopped on a PK by Austin backup keeper Stefan Cleveland. And if you go back further for Pumas before this tournament, they have just two losses in 13 games going back to the last season. They scored in 10 of 12, scored multiple in 5 of 6, but they've given up a goal in 6 of 7, and both teams' to score has gone 5 and 1. Monterey became the second league MX team to suffer a surprise defeat to Austin. They lost 2 nothing despite having 75% of the possession, an edge in shots 21 to 5, shots on target 6 to 5, and corners 11 to 1. They had tons of chances, but just, just could not score, and it was just one of those games. This season in Liga MX Apertura, they're 3-0-1 oh, with wins of 1-0, 1-0, 2-1, and they suffered one blowout loss, 4-0 to Cruz Azul. If you look further back, Monterrey's record is just kind of so-so. They're 8-2-7. and seven. Those losses have come against Chivas, Leon, Columbus twice, and Cruz Azul three times. Head-to-head, -head, Monterrey won 3-0 in March and 1-0 and 4-1 last year. Pumas has only won twice in their past 17 meetings. After both losing to Austin, I can't really trust either of these teams right now. Monterey uh, definitely had the edge historically when these teams meet, so if I was picking a winner, I'd go Monterey. But like I said, neither have looked good so far. Let's just pick Monterey to at least get on the score sheet, so Monterey over 0.5 goals in the second leg of the parlay. And the third game on Saturday is the Vancouver Whitecaps and Club Tijuana. Current form this season and to end last season for Tijuana not too bad. They're 4-1-2. They're 2-1-1 one one to start off the Apertura. Before that time, though, they had gone winless in 15 games. And these four wins of late have come against the likes of Juarez, Puebla, Carretero, and Chivas. Only Chivas would be a top-half team right now. They played a top-half team in LAFC on the MLS side on match day one, and they got run off the pitch 3-0 in a loss where LAFC had 20 shots and 10 shots on target. Cholos will be without head coach Juan Carlos Osorio as he was shown a red against LAFC. They'll likely be without captain Christian Rivera as well, who left last game, went to the hospital with a head injury. Uh, now, Vancouver, where do they rank? Certainly not at LAFC's level, but no worse than Tijuana. And in fact, they did just beat LAFC themselves. That's an opponent that Vancouver rarely has good luck against, but they did get the win. Even without Ryan Gold, Vancouver scored twice in the opening 17 minutes. They held on to that lead all the way until the dying moments where it looked like they were going to get the win, but LAFC got late goals in the 87th minute and then 95th minute as well to tie 2-2. It was a heartbreaking draw for the Caps, but they still came out with the League's Cup win as they did go on to win in PKs, but that leaves them with just two points. It means LAFC know they're through. They have four. Cholo sit bottom of the table with zero. This game will actually feature neither head coach on the sidelines as Vanny Sartini also saw red after regulation and be 
in that game as well. So he also misses out for Vancouver. Now, if you take out a friendly loss to Wrexham, the Caps are 6-1-1 one one in their past eight, where they've outscored opponents now 20-13. to 13. Their games have been very wide open. Both teams scoring over 2.5 has been a bet that's cashed in six of their last eight. The only meeting between these teams was just a 2019 friendly 1-1, one, one, so we can't really uh, look too much into that. Both of these teams need to push for the win here, especially Tijuana. The draw is not really good for, uh, not good for them. Uh, certainly would get Vancouver through. Even a PK win for Tijuana would not be enough, so they'll have to be attacking. This, to me, would look like a Vancouver win or possibly a both teams to score bet. But for, in the parlay, for the sake of this parlay, let's just go over 1.5 goals, so hope for at least two or more goals. Because if we go Vancouver, Tijuana, over 1.5, Monterey to score, both teams to score between Tigres and Miami will come in at plus 110 odds for this parlay. That will be my picks for Saturday's three Leagues Cup games. What do you like in these games? Share those picks down there in the comments. I'll be back for more Leagues Cup round three action this weekend in another video. So be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to get more.